In short, Bubble is an evolution of programming. I think the most surprising is how quickly it evolved. I've been in the game now for like I graduated four years ago, which is not that long. But also because of the unique position of Bubble, yeah, you get very complex projects. Where one example is um, I worked with a vice president of a company that had like I think six billion dollars in uh, in revenue. That guy was extremely talented, extremely smart, and just like sitting with him in a meeting and going at it and building the app. If I would have like a normal career in maybe IT consultancy or like that kind of type, yeah, that would have taken dozens of years to to at least get to to those people and then with a bit of luck um, to get at that at those positions and now I'm here at, at 24 chatting with a VP of a very big company about this app just because bubble can build so fast and he saw the advantages of bubble yeah that was that was awesome my name is Klaus van Hoek I'm uh, from Antwerp Belgium bubble developer since 2000 18 or 19, I'm not 100% sure, and I'm a bubble product maker. I think the Google search that I did was literally, I want to make an app and don't code, and then I just found bubble and built on that, started my own app, evolved it, and after a time found, found AirDev, and that's what it has been since, since then, and it has been six years of building for clients, for my own, for my own doing all sorts of stuff, marketplaces, internal tools, business tools, medical tools, everything. So it's, it's, it's an awesome journey that, that I'm really happy that, that I found Bubble and could basically make my career out of it. You said that you did a Google search because you wanted to build an app. Why did you want to build an app? So it was actually uh, for my mom, who's a midwife in, in, in Belgium, and she, they have like a very particular invoicing system where I first built it on Excel where like V lookup type of stuff. And yeah, we just want to expand it more than just Excel, but we kind of hit hit the, the, the barrier there. Having an invoicing system, like a um, scheduling system, getting some data from patients in, in there. Um, so yeah, I've been building it up until since then. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how I got into Bubble. So I started with this when I was still at university and I was studying uh, management information systems. So it's basically you learn about software, database design, etc. But on like a high level, you don't learn how to code. But then just magically I found Bubble and it mapped so well on it because you got all the theory about how to set up a database, how to make it efficient, how to set up um, apps in a structured way. But if you don't have the skills on how to code it, you basically nothing with that with that uh, stuff yourself and then I found bubble and then yeah it just like mapped very nicely it's the ideal combination between still enough power or like enough extensibility extendability to yeah do stuff and, and, and make a lot of apps and, and complex apps and still that simplicity of building and also being able to yeah explain it to someone like someone completely non-technical you could take them through the workflow tab and say hey you click this button and then this and this and this and this happens um, so yeah that's that's been pretty wild so i worked for air first and did that for a year and a half when i was at uni then when i graduated um, they asked me to become a pm so i um, started doing project management for them and after a year i had this project where uh, it was very long and it was, the, it was a medical app for uh, remote radiology and I started working directly with the startup and we grew in one and a half years from one developer to a team of six where we had like three full-time uh, bubblers, one project manager, one tester and then me also being more product designer but also still a bubbler, so four people and at the time the new version control just came out and it was still yeah a bit wonky and yeah so that took me a long time a few a few months to get that right and it's not only on the technical side because the new version control is still quite similar to like when it, it came out but it was more the process around it and how to work with it and it had been really cool to see here in a talk on on, on the first day of bubblecon that the internal team at, at bubble that that builds actually yeah has the same processes and the same system in place now 
than we had at at Row Club. If if I had heard this talk a year a year earlier, then that would have saved me quite some headaches. Was there anything else at that talk that uh, was particularly surprising for you? At that talk, the A B testing was also pretty interesting as I didn't expect that they did it so much and yeah it was nice to hear like how they did it but yeah it's 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 nice to see that especially in that space where you have like one like the bubble bubble.io is built on bubble which is pretty funny and having four million users is the perfect way to sell it to a to a to a client where like yeah oh can this scale because that's always the question with with no code tools yeah you have a base app with four million with four million users, so that's pretty it's pretty unique. I think the most surprising in this whole adventure is how quickly it evolved. Uh, because I started at uni it was super fun, basically really good student job, and just learning and evolving so quickly. I've been in the game now for like I graduated four years ago, which is not that long, but also because of the unique position of Bubble and working with Airdev, which is an awesome team and just you get the straight up best clients and, and uh, really nice people to work with, but also the best Bubble developers and designers and project managers to work with. Yeah, you get directly into very complex projects where one example is um, I worked with a with a vice president of a company that had like, I think $6 billion in, uh, in revenue that guy was extremely talented extremely smart and just like sitting with him in a meeting and going at it and building the app was amazing that you get so quickly to those people because like if i would have like a normal career in maybe it consultancy of like that kind of type um which which is normal for for the study that i that i did yeah that would have taken dozens of years to to at least get to to those people and then with a bit of luck um, to get at that at those positions, and now I'm here at at 24, chatting with a VP of a very big company about his app, just because Bubble can build so fast, and he saw the advantages of Bubble, and yeah, that was that was awesome. I think when we started, or like when I started, Bubble was very new. This was all very new to me. Software in its totality, or like the whole space, was very new to me. And also because of how Bubble portrayed itself, it's like this is no code, it's like setting itself apart from like normal software development. And over the years, I just learned that when you think like everything is new and Bubble is like this, this, this completely new thing, which it is, but it's also just programmed like software development, then all the learnings that people have taken over the years with software development, you can just also apply to Bubble because a lot of that also makes sense in the Bubble space. So in the beginning, you're like, oh, I think I'm super special, where you just have to open up and also see like, okay, where did other people have exactly the same situation and just learn from their mistakes. It's easier to learn from other people's mistakes and faster to learn from other people's mistakes. I think you first have to take a step back and see, okay, what is the established way of doing it? and see how you can do it at, in Bubble. I think that's the, if I would have known that to not make everything too special and think that Bubble is something completely new, that would help me in, in the long term. Um, yeah. I'm very firm on like how I start my projects. Of course, you always first talk to a client. I think that's like kind of obvious. But from the moment you have like established what you're gonna build and you're gonna really go into the technical bit of building, the first and very important bit for me, and it's also whenever I talk with someone, I stress that importance, is creating the database structure for the app. It's like super important because if you screw that up, then yeah, then it's gonna take hours and hours to fix and potentially not being able to fix it just because it's such a cornerstone of the whole app. So it's that first thing that I do, set up the data and setting up the privacy rules. So that's my foundation when, uh, when I continue building. And then you start obviously making the designs in the, in the editor and attaching the workflows. 
while working with Bubble, of course, you come in contact with Stripe. And maybe that's a good example of how you should look at things as Stripe made payments and all financial transactions and a whole bunch of other products that they made, but all in the financial sphere, which were, which were previously and still are incredibly complex. And Stripe has made this so incredibly easy to work with that, and I think people forget like how complex financial transactions are, but they just made them so easy. And I think that's always the goal that you have to strive for. If something is complex, your users absolutely don't care. You should make everything as simple as possible and as accessible as possible. If you make rockets or Formula One cars and it's very, very, very specific, I get it. But if it's a tool to improve your productivity in some kind of way or improve your processes, then it doesn't really make sense that it would require a lot of training for to use a software app to just explain how you, to use it you better do that in the first step and ask to the and listen to the customers like how they behave so it feels natural naturally uh, how to use the app. I have a very strong opinion on this, so I need to phrase it correctly. Uh, Happy to hear your yeah, strong opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, in short, Bubble is an evolution of programming, where programming come a lot a long way from machine binary code and up to C++ and like JavaScript and like the levels. Bubble is like this new generation of programming, of a programming uh, level where you have a combination of two things. One, you have an extra layer of abstraction and two, you have a new way of input, which is a little bit different than all the other generations that programming languages have seen, where it always has been just like code as the way of communicating with the, uh, with the machine, where it now it is like a visual input that determines how you how or like how you build your app. So that's how I would describe it, like an extra abstraction layer with a different imp with a different input way um, of coding. Belgium. Coke Zero, for sure. Many, but let me pick one. It's the login action. Just because people don't understand how actually difficult it is to get users um, sessions, and it's so simple. It's a very technical one, and it's whenever you need to adapt a certain object which you want to actually create or edit in a certain pop-up and when you make a change to a thing it can either be the newly created thing or the thing already attached to the pop-up you can actually merge the two potential options together like the create a new thing and the pop-ups thing and then take the first item of that list because one of those two is always going to be empty and the first item of that is always going to point you straight towards the newly created thing or the thing that already exists so you only have to adapt one one workflow action to make the changes so yeah take six years a thousand days to like be like a thousand days of five hours five thousand hours i would be a guess but i could be completely wrong This is a hard question because I don't want to say, say something very generic like awesome. If I would have to describe Bubble in one word, then it would be an enabler. <laughs>